one of the most beautiful things about food is the way that it can tell a story and the way that it can teach us lessons. If those stories stop being told, then those lessons stop being learned. You know, what's amazing is how inspiring just being in a garden can be, especially after a rain like this and the soil is it's kind of moist and alive again. It's like rejuvenated. You can smell it and you can taste it. And your brain starts racing. You start getting ideas, thinking about memories of growing up in a garden, the things that maybe you grew up eating or you heard your grandparents talk about cooking. And to me, that's incredible inspiration. It can be that simple. There's nothing like eating a plant that's still alive. That moment when you tear into a vegetable right in the field, that it's the most vibrant. And this is the way I grew up eating. Like A lot of my lunches as a kid were just exactly doing what I'm doing now, just walking through the garden and eating. Yeah, you could certainly eat that as a salad, raw. I grew up in a very rural part of southwestern Virginia, back in the Appalachian Mountains. And this is a place where food was everything. You grow everything, you spend all day in the garden, you spend the rest of the day in the kitchen, and then you cook that food and share it with your family every single day. That's just how people live there. That's how I thought everyone lived. But it took leaving the Appalachian Mountains for me to realize how lucky I was. I moved to Charleston, South Carolina, right out of high school to attend culinary school, experiencing a whole new culture and cuisine that I didn't even know existed. I thought it was the most beautiful thing I'd ever seen. You know, in the low country, it's really about living in the water. Whereas in the southwestern part of Virginia, it's about living in the mountains. And the cuisines that come from that are completely different, but the beautiful thing about it is it's all kind of the same attitude. It's this southern way of looking at things. It's a southern way of respecting things and it eventually ends up as the same emotion on the plate. That's what Southern food does. It makes you feel a certain way. Southern cuisine is a lot of things, and it's a lot of different things to a lot of different people. But I think the most important thing is that it's extremely personal. My interpretation of Southern cuisine is based on my life, and it's based on my life living in the Appalachian Mountains and living in the Low Country. Documenting everything is so important. It's this incredibly therapeutic thing where you find yourself spilling your brain onto these pages. And so as you flip through the book, you'll see how important food is to a culture and how important it, it should be to you. The idea is to inspire the reader to search for their own stories and to pick the brains of their family members and the people who they get food from, even if it's just the farmer's market. And once you start to see food in that way, it starts to become more delicious. <laughs>